Baby Cassiana Castillo and her mom, Sandra Garcia, have been attending physical therapy sessions through the Adopt a Child with Disability nonprofit organization in Belmopan. At the time of this interview, Cassiana was three months old, and she'd started doing therapy about a week after she was born. Cassiana was a breached baby. I didn't know that she, they, they just pull her out by one hand, by her shoulders, so then um, till till couple, like a couple of minutes after when I see her, and I hold her, and then I say, oh, but she only move one hand. The um, pediatrician reach, and then I tell her, this baby will only cry, I tell her, you know, move her hand. Her hand is, um, you would call it limba. So, um, well, then they, well, she come and she, um, he looked at and moved her hand and said, all right, well, this baby, you need therapy, tell me. So she tell, told me she will need therapy. It's her muscles, he said. Hearing that a newborn baby needs therapy to be able to use one of her limbs can be a little scary and stressful. But for Cassiana and her mom, the weekly pediatric physical therapy with Adopt a Child with Disability program has made a big difference. The laser that from way up here from her neck go down. And that I noticed it help a lot because when I first bring her, it could move her hand, no, 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 not all. And so I get worried, I'm going to wonder if it may I ever move a hand. But now it don't lift up. It is slightly have that bend in her hand, but still it from the risk, it still like have it downwards this way. But it just have three months. <sighs> that we did do this. Now, do you believe that if you didn't get this kind of help for her at an early age, maybe she would grow up with a disability? Yes, definitely, definitely, because they told me that if I am never may bring she, then her hand may I get used to being that lamb, that straight way, without moving it. It helped a lot because um, without that, I don't think maybe me a it hand me a move, but then then told me that her 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 um her nerves they, they rupture, so so it it made her really bad. Because she actually made in a pain. Whenever you move her hand and put on her clothes and thing, it made in a pain. And that is why for the past three years, the Adopt a Child with Disability nonprofit is helping children with disabilities from newborns to age thirteen. The organization offers early intervention therapy to try to improve the children's physical ability to function. Physical therapist Juan Pablo Collado is the founder. Most of the children uh, that we treat are, have neurological disabilities, uh, some sort of uh, like cerebral palsy. We have children with um, Down syndrome. We have children with a specific uh, diagnosis that are more complex, but uh, we have children that are normal uh, neurologically but also so have suffered from injuries uh, perhaps uh, amputations fractures and and many other physical limitations that they may suffer due to accidents or trauma we would use different techniques bobat we use a specific uh, neural development techniques to 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 stimulate the child to develop to the next phase that he's supposed to some children are capable of uh, improving to the point that they can be functional and they can be integrated into society and be productive citizens. For example, putting groceries in a bag and being able to be independent eventually. And some kids uh, have very significant um, uh, limitations that what we can only do is improve their quality of life. Like two-year-old Destiny Tessacum, she was born with a severe type of spina bifida where she's unable to walk. She's been enrolled in the physical therapy program for about a year. The affordable cost and the central location helped to ease the burden on her father. Had an, had three emergency sur surgery at birth. Was told that she was not going to make it. And here she is now, two years and change now. Been coming to this institution for almost a year. And I've seen, I have seen major improvement in her foot. The, service and the affordability helps us a lot. We don't have to travel to Belize City a lot. Now we come direct to this location and I'm, I'm a couple miles away from the institution so 
you don't have a problem coming to the institution once every week or whenever I cannot make it then due to her condition sometimes the weather change and we cannot make it so I, I inform them that we cannot make it and they do the changes for us. But not many parents who have a child with disability will seek this kind of help. Collado says that while progress has been made when it comes to disability services in Belize, the issues of shame and stigma associated with disability are still prevalent. And he hopes that by having this central location in Belmopan, where children can get quality therapy for a small fee, that it will help to encourage parents to get help for their children. The culture is, is very limited in, uh, in education towards the disability. A lot of the parents in rural areas would think uh, this is a curse to their families, they're ashamed of their kids, they don't know that this is uh, something that could happen to every individual, either religious belief, economic levels, uh, disability affects everybody in Belize. And there's children all over Belize, there's hundreds of children that uh, are, are in need and have no access to this type of uh, services. Uh, we have been treating over 30 children that come to our clinics uh, two to three times a week and we have seen a significant improvement in these kids. We take out the kids so that people are aware of, of what is going on and that disability in our children is something that we have to embrace and we have to uh, uh, approach it in a proactive way. And this is what Adopt a Child with Disability is doing, is, is doing something for these kids and trying to integrate them socially and also to eliminate the taboo that uh, a children with disability is a curse or is, 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 uh, is possessed. This nonprofit started out offering free cost of therapy for children in need, but the demand for the service has put a strain on the nonprofit's resources. They now rely on grants to subsidize the cost of maintaining the service. Each parent, where possible, pays a small fee between five and ten dollars to help sustain their important work. In our part, for now, we're focusing on their physical abilities, and hopefully, we can we can create a difference, and these children can later be testimony so that uh, this is a movement and, and a service that is, is, is needed. So, so hopefully we were able to grow and, and continue improving the quality of life of children with disabilities in Belize. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.